I always wondered why people were so happy and passionate that they owned the stock Disney. And I always thought it was just that little mouse, Mickey Mouse, and those movies that come out every summer that are animated, and those theme parks that they have in Florida and California. And I didn't realize how big Disney was until I started looking into it myself. And this this company is just huge. There's a lot of products that they have that don't uh, necessarily have their name explicitly stated, so you wouldn't even think that they're associated. But once you go into the numbers and the data, Disney owns so much of the media and entertainment world. It's uh, it's pretty crazy. So that's what we're going to talk about here is how big Disney is and that I recently added a share of this stock. So as always, be sure to like this video, comment if you didn't realize. I can't be the only one that didn't realize how big Disney was and if you think their future is going to be promising and be sure to subscribe for more content. So let's just talk about Disney stock in general here. So it's a pretty big company. It's on the Dow. It's $243 billion market cap. Uh, I'm actually surprised it's not even bigger than that based on what I know now. P.E. ratio about 15, so not too bad there. It had a pretty good earnings for first quarter. It only pays out dividends twice a year, so once in the end of July and then once in December. So unlike most companies where they pay it out four times a year, Disney is just twice. Very small dividend, but will be growing that dividend in the future, I'm sure. Uh, one year target, oh, that doesn't really matter here, but... Uh, has been consistently beating the earnings report. It just came up short in Q2 2018. It has about an annual earnings, about $10 billion, so $12 billion last year. Very good. And it's already had a very good first quarter with $5.5 billion in revenue in Q1. So here's some of the top five companies owned by Disney uh, on this article by Investopedia. So Disney is one of the largest media and entertainment companies in the world. It has its three largest business segments are its TV business, theme parks, and feature film businesses, which if you're unfamiliar with them, it's only you're going to be familiar with them once you actually find out what they are and that you've probably heard of them before. So they also recently just bought uh, 21st Century Fox, I guess not too recent, it was in the end of 2017, for $52 billion and let's see this is Disney's revenue by business segment for the past four years uh, as you can see each year it seems to consistently be getting bigger in terms of how much revenue they're getting from those different uh, segments here so media networks parks and resorts and so on so their biggest business segment is their ABC television group so this is a public uh, channel you don't even need cable to get these channels, so this is accessible to most viewers who own a TV in America. And this also includes all their local TV affiliates across the country, so those ABC channels that have the news for a particular town or city, that that's all Disney right there. And then Disney is also, it also owns part of A&E, Hulu, Fusion Media, and then cable channels such as History Channel, Lifetime, Disney owns a stake in all of those as well. So pretty crazy how much stuff that Disney will continue to be uh, streaming with their Disney Plus and Hulu in the future. Definitely has a wide variety of content that is there. And then it also owns some of the Univision, which is huge because a lot of America is growing in terms of the Latino population and Hispanic uh, American population continues to rise. So that's that's great that Disney is trying to continue to change uh, who they're trying to buy for and provide those resources. So ESPN, uh, you probably don't think of Disney when you think about ESPN, but they also own 80% of ESPN, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and that includes everything like ESPN2, ESPN University, uh, ESPN Radio, and ESPN.com. So I visit ESPN like every single day, so can't believe every time you go on those websites you are contributing to Disney. Disney also owns of course its parks and resorts so those people that go on vacation in Orlando Florida which is the most commonly visited tourist spot they're going there to go explicitly to Disneyland or World. Disneyland's in California. World is in 
Florida. So they come there just for Disney World, and th that is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world. And Disney World is not cheap. It's pretty expensive, so they can charge pretty high premiums on their prices, and people will still go to them just because of the name recognition and brand. So they also own Lucasfilms, which is the Star Wars makers so that is a very large industry and company to be in those films gross so much money and then they of course also own marvel and people have been going crazy over these avenger movies and that avengers universe is so big and every it feels like every year there's so many movies being put out and disney has a stake in all of them as you can see here some of the recent disney movies that you probably didn't even know were Disney movies because they go under the Marvel Universe. So great uh, revenue there. Every Basically every year you can expect to see some Marvel movie come out. Alright, so this is a little inc infographic about everything that Disney owns. You, you can tell your company is huge if you need to have a small pixelated magnifying glass to see everything that your company in campuses so we'll start here on the top left and that is their Marvel segment so you can see all the different subsidiaries of Marvel and Disney here so Marvel music Marvel Studios which is huge they have the rights to all basically all of these Marvel uh, characters and that whole universe there everything Marvel related which is probably a billion dollar industry with all the different movies that they put out every single year uh, here they have their other uh, studios, so Pixar, those animated films that they come out every summer, Walt Disney Pictures as well, they produce their own movies, Disney Channel, their animation studios, Lucasfilm, so all those Star Wars movies, Disney Corporate, their Disneyland, uh, their, everything that has to do with Disney Theater, Disney Music, they also sell records, they own part of Hulu. They own all these different networks that are not even in the United States. They own part of National Geographic. They own FX. They own 20th Century Fox. Fox Sports. Fox Network. It is so crazy how much media and entertainment that Disney owns. Let's continue going down here. They own Vice. They own the History Channel. And they might not own all of these 100%, but they own a stake in them, so that's pretty big. That's Disney's basically like a media conglomerate. Uh, ABC, as we mentioned before, as well as Lifetime, everything associated with Disney Channel. So they're not only reaching out to the younger demographic, but they're also reaching out to the older demographic as well with their entertainment services. So everything associated with ESPN here, ESPN2, ESPN Deportes, uh, Longhorn Network, ESPN Magazine, so they're even in the magazine business. There's so many things even out over here, which I'm not even sure what they are, but Disney owns them. They're in the construction company as well. Energy services, apparently. All these different things in Florida. Uh, all of these different news networks across the entire United States. Dis Disney owns a part of them because they are all under the ABC umbrella. Here, Walt Disney in Japan, Hulu, all these smaller things that are in even smaller print here. There's Steamboat Ventures, so they're also in the Steamboat and Yacht Business, potentially here, Chinese Holdings, all these things, other things onto the side. There's so much. Disney is so big. And everything that has to do with their Disney theme parks, which is a huge industry here. So that is going to do it for the video. Let me know uh, what else you guys want to see in the future. Let me know if you are thinking of buying Disney stock because I will be gradually adding stocks or shares of Disney stock to my portfolio.